Hello everyone and welcome back to a let's play of Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire with your host Invalid. Apologies for the long delay um, with stuff, but after <laughs> after yet another Harry Potter game where there seems to be a huge hiatus between the majority of the let's play and then the finale, we're finally here. In the last video, we had gone through the third Triwizard task, the maze, and had... what was it? Cedric saved our butts, and we saved his. And then they both grabbed onto the final cup, which ended up being a port key. And transporting us to... well, take a guess. <laughs> um... I've thought about collecting, and I am deciding against it. A lot of people have told me that I can collect stuff after um, after I beat Voldemort, or finish the final encounter, but considering the fact that there are so many little quests that are incredibly annoying to get, especially in certain levels like the... Prefect's bathroom is pretty bad. Herbology is probably the worst. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you. So I'm I'm just not going to collect any more stuff. I, I have every set unlocked with the exception of one. And I don't know how to unlock it. It may be something that I have to beat Voldemort for. I don't know. So, basically what we're going to be doing here is going through the rest of the challenges, just to show them off. Because I'm actually kind of curious about what goes on here. Uh, the Dugbog Avifors can go screw itself. Levitation challenge was fun. Exploding Cauldrons was fun. Tower blocks. Okay. Bubo Tuber Fling. Okay. I'm going to give each of these challenges two attempts. Um, I'm not actually going to do anything in regards to trying to get a, a score or any sort of medal. I'm just going to try to... I'm just going to give it a shot and see what it's like. Let's see what the boobatuber fling is all about. Because people said this was going to be fun. I don't know about that. Um, I don't remember who I played as in the last one. <laughs> I think for now, I'm going to play as Hermione. And then let's just do autofill and see what happens. Magicus Estremos, Stamina. Oh, and this also gives me another chance to talk about stuff. Um, a few people have informed me since the big hiatus that... St uh, it's not style cards. Transfigure cards. Uh, let's see, it's not those. No, where is it? It should be under character, right? There we go. Uh, forgot he had that. Okay, yeah, these transfigure cards. Transfigure stamina. So, um, I was kind of suspecting this, but I wasn't really sure. A few people confirmed in the comments that the transfigure cards, whether it's transfigure stamina, um... Transfigure Jinx, any of those will turn every single card that you have into basically a power-up of that Transfigure type. So Transfigure Stamina, it doesn't matter what other two cards I have in these slots. If I put a Transfigure Stamina here, I'm going to be maxed out with Stamina. So. Just thought that would be a good piece of information. And what's the deal with the Jinx style? Is that the same deal? No, it's not that. Yeah. Alright. Looks good. Uh, I think for the rest of this, I'm just gonna 
fast forward through it and show off what cards we get at the end. So see you guys in a bit. Alright, so we got our Jinx card thing set up. Um, mostly what I did was just give everybody a big stamina and Jinx power boost, so that's the case here. Harry's got the Ricochet Jinxes. Uh, put a since I'm playing as Hermione in this one, um, put on the Ricochet Jinx. I gave myself a Silver Axio booster since I'm the only one that's actually going to be collecting beans intentionally. And then the second Jinx Power Booster. Ron's got a Jinx Power Booster. He's also got increased stamina. And I didn't know that this was a thing, but Jinx and Magicus Extremos. So, Magicus Extremos duration is increased, as well as Ron's Jinx power being increased. Let's get into it. I mean, it doesn't really matter since we're doing challenges, but, you know, it's good to have it set up for everything else. Oh wait, uh, this one. Oh god, I see where this is going. If I can hit it, that might... Yes! Game, come on, I'm pulling I'm pulling back here. Hello, I am pressing back. This is why I fucking hate Boobo Tuber flings. Ah It's so inconsistent. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. So yeah, I don't like this. If the mechanics were better, I would love it. But the mechanics are... I'm not even pressing anything! What the fuck is this shit?! I've been playing the game for less than 30 seconds, and I'm already losing my goddamn mind. But it actually looks like... Hold on. Okay, so... It looks like we only need to actually hit targets and gain score. Oh my god. Move back, you bitch. There we go. Move back! Whatever. Okay, I'm not doing this one again. This is annoying as fuck. move back. I'm pressing back and holding back. Thank you. I'm pressing and holding back. What is this person doing? Oh my fucking god. Okay, whatever. I know I'm freaking out a good deal, but you do not understand. Uh, this is one of those instances where I want like a keyboard cam or something because this is ridiculous This is a I am holding why is she moving forward? Uh. Two minutes and I already want to quit from how stupid this fucking game is at least we got bronze no, don't try that again. That was... Ugh. Ugh. Controller's not responsive. <laughs> Ugh, okay. So, moving on. Whew. Okay, this one might be interesting. We can try this one. Supposed to be stacking statues or something, huh? Not entirely sure how this is gonna go. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think we can. Oh, 
Okay, so we need to stack them in the center. And of course, okay. What is this prancing around that they do? I fucking hate this game. God, why am I playing this? Ugh. Harry, pick it up! Thank you. Oh, shit. Well, that didn't work out. Alright, let's try that again. Like, right there, maybe? Fuck! <laughs> Alright, we'll go for this one instead for the moment. What is this walking around that they do? Harry! Thank you. Oh god. No! Damn it. Ugh. Whatever. Screw this. I'm ending the level. That one was at least somewhat enjoyable. But, oh my god. The game mechanics are just so not well polished. So bad. Ugh. Okay. Alright, from here we're just gonna go into the final battle. Screw it. Cedric, get back to the cop. Now! I'm not leaving you. Kill the spare. No! Avada Harry Potter. The boy who lived. I'm going to destroy you. Crucio! Ah! Let's see what schoolboy spells you have up your sleeve. Okay then. Don't you want me to finish it, Harry? Not particularly. So welcome to the final encounter with Voldemort, which is totally not how the book goes. And I imagine not the movie either. Get over here. Wait. Why are you dropping stuff, Harry? Come on. Well done, Harry. Only Dumbledore can see you now. There was no that, trials by summoning skeletons that Voldemort did in the book or the movie. I don't know what this whole deal is. Oh, that's where he went. I thought you'd be going out of two more hands. Um, and it's no parents to be proud. I wish this guy would shut up. You may also notice that we never actually got the chance way. to. That hurts, didn't it, Harry? Not really. We didn't really get the chance to pick any cards or anything like that. Or a character, so this is all Harry. Just at the very raw and very basic. And yet here we are fighting skeletons against a Voldemort who is more taunting us than anything and who we can't even hit. Look at, seriously, just watch this. 
He is untouchable. Well, well, your filthy muggle mother with it proud. No! I want to see the light leave your eyes. That's it, Harry. Avada Kedavra! Okay, so, um, as a disclaimer, I've actually played this fight before because of failed recording attempts. Uh, and this is like the pinnacle of how shitty this game is. Oh my god, this is so ass cheeks to control. Do nothing unless I command you. This is actually so dumb. Okay, so Bow to death, Harry. God. Yeah, this is a this is a hugely gimmicky fight. It's really disappointing. Oh god. Okay. So not only are we having to deal with this thing and walk around as we try to control it. Whoa. But it can stun us if it hits us, as well as the fact that it has momentum. So that makes it even harder to control. Well, that was dark and difficult times comes a choice between what is right and what is easy. Should you ever waver, remember Cedric Diggory, a boy who is kind and brave and true. No matter how convincingly you tell the story of what happened tonight, few will believe that Voldemort has returned. But tell the story you must. Oh my god, that fight was so bad! Ugh. And that totally unemotional cutscene about Cedric's death. God, this game was so terrible. <laughs> so, oh my God, I don't, I don't even know where to begin, man. This is just, this was bad. I'm glad I tried out those challenges, though. Those challenges weren't, weren't half bad, aside from the very first one, and the Bubo Tuber one. That was, ugh. Whatever. But anyway, this is the credits, as you can tell. Um. I don't know, I mean, I kind of have an idea of what I want to talk about with the review. There's a lot I could talk about here, but I feel like I would keep going on for a while, so... Just know that I think this game sucks. And I think it had a lot of potential, but it's unfortunate that the potential didn't work out. That's kind of the general idea that I have about this game. Ugh. I'm glad this is done. Hopefully the next game isn't quite as bad. Um, 
I'm like I said, I'm gonna hold off on my thoughts about this game until the review comes out, which should be soon. So yeah, I guess I'm just gonna leave you guys with the credits rolling, um, and hope you enjoy. You get to see the list of all the people that put their heart and soul into this game and ruined it. <laughs> I don't mean any. Of, I don't mean the last part, but. This game was pretty bad. So. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm glad we're finally through this game. And never have to touch it again. Until the review. But, that will be for next time. So until then, have a wonderful day everybody. And take care. Bye for now.